Just take a look at the former Home Secretary in the House of Commons today with a little bit of a blast. From my time as Home Secretary, I can say that the same human rights framework is producing insanities that the public would scarcely believe. Foreign terrorists we can't deport because of their human rights. Terrorists we have to let back in because of their human rights. Foreign rapists and paedophiles who should have been removed but are released back into the community only to reoffend. Yep, because of their human rights. The Conservative Party faces electoral oblivion in a matter of months if we introduce yet another bill destined to fail. I don't know about you folks, that makes me fuming with anger that the human rights of the rapists and the murderers appears to override the human rights of us taxpaying, hard-working British citizens. Well, let's go to my next guest, David Campbell-Bannerman, former Conservative MEP, and a, uh, I think you're running the, the grassroots Conservative organisation. You could have got a lot to do, David. A very good evening. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, that blast from Suella Braverman about what goes on in the Home Office that, frankly, we weren't aware of, is deeply shocking and fury-making. Uh, well, it is, Richard. I think we all agree on that. I mean, it, it's, it really is genuinely shocking what uh, she's exposed uh, in her, I thought, a very well-judged speech. Um, and, you know, it is true what she says, that unless we regain sovereignty, then we'll get annihilated. The Conservative Party will get annihilated. It might be quite good for reform, I know. But um, it, it's very, very serious. But, yeah, these are really shocking examples of where we lost control, where human rights just trumps uh, the, um, you know, the rights of ordinary citizens and puts their lives at risk uh, from terrorists and criminals and a whole, uh, you know, other crowd of people. So the situation is very serious, and I'm not surprised we've got a resignation tonight in Robert Jenrick. Well, let's just touch on that. So Robert Jenrick's resigned... It's not totally clear yet. I haven't seen the letter, but that may be just out as I'm on air, as to whether he's resigned over concerns about the latest published Rwanda bill or the unspoken in her speech because she didn't refer to the mass immigration coming here legally that, uh, that essentially happened on, uh, on the Conservative government's watch. Yeah, she was focusing on illegal um, immigration mostly today. You're right. Um, I've only just seen the letter, actually. And, and the thrust of it is that he was annoyed <coughs> about uh, the prime minister apparently not uh, uh, opting out of uh, the ECHR side of things, just the Human Rights Act, as far as I can read. It's very early days. Um, and, and as a result of that, he's resigned. So you've got on the front page of the bill about, you know, that this doesn't actually comply or may not comply with the ECHR. Well, that's not enough, obviously, for Robert Jenrick. And I think it's a principal resignation. And it's very, very serious for Sunak. Can he survive, Sunak? Or is he in, uh, there's rumours today about letters going in to the, uh, to the chairman of the 1922 committee. I mean, it's, it's, it's just like, yeah. it's like coming all, it's sort of Groundhog Day all over again. Does this happen every six or 12 months, David? What's going on? Well, I, I, I know it is extraordinary. It would be the fourth leader in a year. Um, but I, I, I would welcome it to be honest. I'm afraid I don't think he's enjoying himself. Um, it's desperate measures. We're twenty percent behind in the polls. A lot of our CDO members, Conservative Democratic organisation members, um, even they are questioning whether they can support the Conservatives or go off to reform. As I say, you'll be glad to hear. But, but no, it's a desperate situation, and it's I don't think uh, Sunak will survive it. To be honest, wow. I think that will David, be I, 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 it can't be right for the country to have another unelected prime minister in my view i suspect we could be heading to a general election in the spring not next autumn david uh